I'm uh, Bob Brzee from Palm Beach Equine Clinic. Um, I'm here to do stem cells today on this horse. The horse has a lesion or a tear in a uh, branch of the suspensory and uh, is diagnosed by one, the horse is lame, and secondly, uh, it had ultrasound, and, uh, ultrasound findings of what's called a core lesion. A normal layup time would be four to six months for something like this, where before we were looking at uh, one to two years. So the idea is to try to increase the number of cells which produce connective tissue which make up the structure. And um, it, it, it's, it's an area of very low blood supply, thereby it makes it a, a hard area to heal in that it takes time, months and months and sometimes years. Uh, in the past, what we've done is just uh, turned the horse out or blistered the horse. Uh, different things have been tried historically. Um, uh, bone marrow injected into these, and that was kind of what started a lot of the stuff as we were doing uh, raw bone marrow, uh, aspirating bone marrow from the sternum of the horse and injecting into the lesion, and found that that, that uh, in the bone marrow contains what's called pluripotential, meaning they can turn into anything, uh, uh, mesenchymal, which is connective tissue cells, uh, so it's pluripotential mesenchymal cells that we um, had in bone marrow. The, the problem with that is there's a lot of other cells in the bone marrow um, and it just tends to dilute those. So what we're trying to do is to concentrate those pluripotential mesenchymal cells it's thought that um, it's called the dipocytes or fat cells are, are actually a better source of, of these pluripotential stem cells uh, than, than the bone marrow was. And so what we do is um, harvest the, the, some adipose tissue fat from the, from the horse and we do this with a liposuction technique. Uh, what we do um, is uh, sterilely prepare an area, drape it off, uh, and then uh, make a very small stab incision, it's probably a quarter inch in length, and uh, then we inject under the skin a uh, uh, saline uh, solution that has uh, um, bicarbonate and um, a local anesthetic and as well as uh, uh, epinephrine to control hemorrhage. So we inject this fluid and then we use a liposuction needle which is a very um, thick needle, it's, it's slightly smaller than a pencil and at the end is like little shavers and we try to shave that, that um, adipose tissue out of the subcutaneous space um, to try to, um, or to harvest the fat. Uh, we take that fat and process it and ends up, separate muscle cells and, and uh, the actual oil of the fat uh, away and try to get it down to just where we have the adipocytes. Uh, and those are the, the those are the pluripotential mesenchymal cells. Once we process the cells and try to uh, isolate just the the adipocytes or stem cells, um, uh, this is concentrated in a very small um, volume. I mean, like one one to three milliliters, and we start out with sixty milliliters. Um, we suspend those cells then in, in platelet-rich plasma, PRP, um, and then uh, we inject this solution right into the, or suspension right into the lesion itself. We use, do this under ultrasound guidance so we actually can watch our needle go right into the, uh, right into the uh, lesion itself. And we do all this process with the horse standing. He's never anesthetized for this. This dark spot represents the actual lesion in the, in the branch there. The idea of the, of the PRP is it has uh, uh, low mediators that, that increase cell division. Um, like if you were to get a scratch on your, on your arm, while well these platelets are, release these chemicals that, that cause vocal, um, the cells of the area to, to multiply and actually make new cells and, and heal the area. But we're trying to take advantage of these things to try to heal this, this, this hole in this, in this uh, uh, suspensory branch. We use it in suspensory branches uh, 
our suspensory ligaments, tendons, or what have you. And actually, have used some in in, um, in joints as well to re try to repair cartilage and that sort of thing. Um, but these cells, once they're injected into a, a structure, they, they take on the characteristics of that structure and lay down new cells. And the idea is to get um, uh, better healing faster. Typically, what, what we look for on, on layup of these horses, it's kind of an active rest. And I think that's as important as, as just the rest itself. The idea is to, to, to train these fibers in a linear fashion. Uh, and I, and the way they do this is by the stress applied to that to that structure. And so what we do is we start out the first uh, two weeks after after we do this process, they pretty much uh, stress it enough just they're walking around their normal living within the stall confinement. Um, the, the second two weeks, and this is a typical situation, it can vary on the, uh, the lesion and, and the structure involved. But typically, the first two weeks they're in the in a box stall. The second two weeks box stall with with uh, 10 to 15 minute uh, hand walk uh, to try to uh, gradually increase the stress on this um, on the structure. After from weeks uh, four to eight or four to 12, uh, we'll put someone on the you know walk the horse under saddle, and it's in a way to try to increase the stress gradually over time that uh, we really need to stress this and, and that's why we say we don't really call it a, a layup, it, it's more of an active rest. Um, the reason we do these, um, use the stem cell um, is to try to um, decrease the, the amount of layup and, and it's, it can be as much as decrease it by, by a half or even four times. Uh, many of these horses will come back in four to six months as opposed to uh, one to two years, um, and we use it on, on, on bow tendons, uh, high suspensories, uh, suspensory branches, any kind of connective tissue that's been damaged. A multitude of different things, and, and there's actually work being done um, using it interarticularly to um, try to get uh, repair of cartilage damage. Here in uh, South Florida, at Palm Beach Equine Clinic, we see a very high number of these because we have a, a, a multitude of horses doing very high level of activity. As technology advances, we try to keep up to the, to the latest um, with the idea being that, that in 10 years we'll look back on this stuff and the advances made even in the last 10 years are remarkable and it, there's, a, there's a real good future in this.